hi guys and welcome back to my channel thank you so much for tuning in if you are new girl press that subscribe button then hit that bell yeah that one right there turn on the notifications so that you can get a ding every time that i upload if you are my soldier hi love you thanks for coming back and so i'm on here raw real authentic this is how i look when i'm in my house i had something that was on my spirit that i wanted to talk about and I really ain't have time to do all the bazaars of getting ready and all that. So what we're going to do right now is have a life chit chat. Yeah, about life. And I'm just going to eat this. It's a cup. But this is how I like to eat my cereal, oatmeal, and everything else. So I got this big cup. Huge, humongous from TJ Maxx. Messy bun plus getting stuff done. Messy bun plus getting stuff done this is honey bunches of oats with just bananas guys don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up because i did not want my cereal to get all mushy i poured my milk into this cup so let's just go ahead real quick and let's say um grace and then we'll go ahead and just have a little chit chat and eat the cereal universe we come to you right now and say thank you so much for not only waking us up this morning but allowing us to see this beautiful day allowing us to have all five of our senses working allowing us to have a roof over our head clothes on our back and food to be able to place in our stomach thank you so much for this terrific tuesday namaste we're gonna have a great day all right guys so guess what i had this thought and this and it's in my spirit it's been in my spirit for a while and i'll tell you kind of what like brought it up so what brought it up for one is the fact that i'm about to turn 35 in like a few more months i don't know about you guys but every time that we are about to hit a big milestone like that be it purchasing something be it a milestone of age whatever your milestone is it starts to make you reflect on life you either reflect where you are and you're happy you reflect where you've been and you're happy or you reflect just about your future and where you want to go but you reflect you just really start to reflect on everything you've been through and how you want your life to change boom that's where i'm at about to turn 35 in a few more months and i'm like thanks walmart like where am i right now what am i feeling do i feel like i'm completing everything that i had on my list to complete by the time i was going to be 35 do i feel like i'm struggling do i feel like i've learned like it's just so much stuff that goes through your head so because like everyone else we need encouragement i need encouragement as well i'm making this video to not only encourage but just the bravery and the courage of not being afraid to say i am where i am and i'm gonna get where i want to go it's just gonna take me whatever time it takes me but also in that basically saying fuck society and fuck the norms that we feel we need to fit in to fit in society's norms at the end of the day society norms are set because that's what people felt like where you should be or what you should do when you're at that stage in your life no one really follows that anymore and the saddest thing is the pressure because we continue to try to place ourselves there or make ourselves stay there this is why we run into depression this is why we run into sadness this is why we run into anxiety we're continuously trying to beat ourselves into a place that we can't fucking fit at the end of the day i realized that i'm in a place where i'm making myself become completely overwhelmed because i am trying to say oh okay i did it too so count me in count me in count me in what am i being counted in for we never want to feel like we are ostracized or separated. Everyone wants uniqueness, but no one ever wants the uniqueness that is the one that's like, oh, stare at me. She's so unique. You want the uniqueness that still somewhat fits you inside of what everyone else will accept as normal. I'm realizing the more that I try to do that to myself, the sadder I am. Honestly, I'm sadder when I try to make someone else understand or appreciate what it is I feel I'm accomplishing or doing in my life. Fucking depression. Fucking depression to sit there and try to worry about what someone else thinks about you and your life and where you're going. Yeah, that makes you feel stuck. Depression comes in all different ways. Everyone feels it different. Some people have what some people would consider the most extreme level of depression. Some people have what you feel like, I just don't feel like doing shit today. For me, I've broken it down for me. This is not defining for what it is for you. When I feel depressed, it's because I feel stuck. It's because I feel like I'm overwhelmed. It's because I feel like I have too much pressure. It's because I feel like, wait, I'm doing so much. Why do I feel like I'm not doing enough? All of that gives me depression because I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm not there. I'm in a robotic state to just complete. I'm not in a state of living life. Sometimes you just have to take a deep breath and say that right there. Like, okay, wait. 
hold on i've been doing the same thing monday through wednesday of course i'm gonna wake up thursday not feeling good i've not fed myself at all like i've been working i've been working out i've been reading i've been getting this money i've been doing everything but i've not done anything that made me say oh my god i feel so blessed to be alive today how are we not gonna be depressed y'all how are we not some days like i just said i feel like i'm just like i, I can't today just needs to go I can't do it. And then there's some days when I'm like a fucking jackrabbit. I'm waking up at 6 in the morning. I'm trying to work till 11 o'clock at night. That's how you create burnt out. You're just putting too much on yourself to be able to get there. So if you're dealing with that right now, like I had to figure it out for myself, is figure out what works for you. You know what I mean? Strategize. Maybe if you create a to-do list, create a to-do list for every different day of the week. Or maybe Monday is getting money mondays and that's what you focus on but then tuesday is you trying to figure out how you could learn things and unlearn things about you internally so therefore you have the balance of work and personal all work is no fun and all play you can't live and you got to figure out what you're going to do and how you're going to do it so that you can have both to not be placed in this in this in this place of oh my god i'm fucking struggling i'm suffering i don't know what i'm doing i'm lost i'm confused i don't know if i'm doing right in life you may not be but you also may be you just may be dealing with life and learning life and navigating life and going through life in a way that is beneficial and and best for you but it doesn't look good to everybody else but again fuck the social norms no one fits into them the mass quote unquote norm of what people deem as society does not fit into the norm of society so it's like yeah okay no thanks for me the other side of depression is anxiety no lie i suffer from anxiety heavy 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 because i'm always running i'm either always running late or i'm running to the future but i'm always running I always get it done get it done get it done like that's how i am i'm get it done get it done get it done it don't matter how you get it done it don't matter how long you, it took you to get it done but at the end of the day the most important thing is the check next to the task to know that you got it done so when you always moving like that how can you not have anxiety how can you not be worried about if you're gonna fail how can you not be worried about if it's gonna come out exactly like you wanted it which doesn't mean you failed but it just came out a different way. It's these pressures that we put on ourselves to constantly always feel like, oh, I can do it, I got it. Maybe you can, or maybe you can. Just today is not the day that you can. As we get older, these are things that we understand. These are things that we have to begin to start appreciating about ourselves. If you know how you move and you know how you feel, then I believe that you will definitely perform better. If you figure out what works for you and how maybe you like this part of society and that works for you but this part you don't like so leave that instead of putting it in your backpack bringing it with you and this is the only part you like but now you got this all on you now it's a burden i thought about something today i was like wow you ever thought about the fact that maybe some people are really sad and because they don't know how to place that sadness, it gets displaced as depression and anger and all those things. That's all of us. The only difference is that some people have learned how to figure it out and navigate so that only the best part of them shine. And some people, they can't. Some people are like me where I have very good days, but I also have them days where it's knock if you buck. But that's honest. If you feel like or when you feel like life is kicking your fucking ass and you feel like you are stressed the fuck out when you feel like you are stressed the fuck out and you just can't take no more don't call out of work lay in your bed watch your favorite show do whatever you need to do to bring you back together it's trying to continue to solve and fix whatever other tasks and goals you have at hand if this ain't right you ain't gonna feel right you're always gonna feel like what am I doing? Like, life is always just going to feel heavy. And guess what? Sometimes life is fucking heavy. And we can't do anything with it but carry it to fuck around. This one, I love. Realizing how the trauma that you never, ever, ever paid attention to, solved, tried to talk out, whatever. Realize how that trauma shows up in your adulthood, right? When I was a little girl, I was not raised by my biological father. Another story, another time, I'll give it to y'all one day. It took me a long time to realize that I moved so strategic and tried to control so many things out of my life that I was not enjoying life in the most. Like, I really wasn't. Everything was about how I can make sure you never caught me slipping. How I can make sure that I'm going to show you that you missing out on something if you're not in my life. The thing was 
tailored to always trying to show him you're gonna need me before I need you and what happened was I started living my life like that I'm appreciative <laughs> of the fact that I had that much like strength inside of me to do what I had to do instead of really crawling up in a fucking ball and dying as a young little girl, right? Because that was me trying to show him I started to give that to the entire world. I don't trust nobody, very suspicious, I have some paranoia. All these things come from, you know, my sign and everything else. I realized that I deal with abandonment on a all time high, like literally. And I never knew that. I never knew that I cared so much about how a person exits my life. I'm not saying that people have to stay in your life forever, but I do feel like we know that there's always a crossroads and there's always an end. Just how people come to your life in whatever fashion, they can leave even worse or leave better. It doesn't matter. However, what I'm trying to say is, I'm not saying that I'm a person that needs closure, but I guess that is closure. I always try to control that I leave and they don't. Because I didn't want to feel abandoned as I felt with my biological father. Now when I have a friend or I have someone that just dips like that, yo, it sends me into this like, I don't want to live. Like it crushes me. Because that was trauma that I had as a child that I didn't even know I had. My whole thing was, F you, <laughs> you gonna need me, I'm not gonna need you. So when and how could that ever, translate to abandonment but that's what it was among a lot of other things but all i'm trying to say is realize that every day we wake up and as you are trying to do whatever it is in your adult life you don't know what that little girl or that little boy is looking for you don't know and the only time that you start to realize what they're looking for is more than likely when you're in pain when you're hurt for some reason us as human beings as much as we say we don't love pain and hurt and all that we are glutton for it here i said it. we tend to place ourselves in situations that we know nine times out of ten the outcome can be that but we just think we're gonna save it change it or recreate it which we're not and then we get put in the same place because you didn't focus on it as a child now when someone else does that to you as an adult you get double the whammy trauma trauma and guess what trauma's not fucking easy to get away from healing is hard as fuck Healing takes accountability, responsibility, raw and honesty. Healing takes you saying to yourself, no, not today, bitch, not today. Healing takes you saying, I know that's what I'm used to, but it's not what I'm going to do. Healing takes you saying, I don't really like that, but you know what? Since it's not attached to me so damn like, like my skin is, I'm going to let that pass. Healing is adapting, understanding that it's not your fault, but you did play a role in it. If you're choosing to take that, that path in life be be prepared to feel a lot more now what you're doing is you're fighting against what doesn't work for you anymore and we all know what doesn't work for you needs to be left behind but how much does it come forward i know it's a test from the universe to make you realize how far they've brought you to realize where you're going my um cereal is actually mush now but i'm gonna eat it i don't give a fuck because i like it Healing takes you going dark. It takes deep fucking moments. Healing takes you being unafraid. Like I said earlier, accountability. Look in the mirror and say, nope, that didn't come from them. That didn't come from them. That came from me. I did that to myself. That's another thing that I wanted to talk about real quick. We don't realize, like I said earlier, because of the social norms, how much stress we put on ourselves. Some of the stress that we put on ourselves or get is us trying to say, nah, I'm going to do it. But why? Some of the things that we try to accomplish some of the things that we try to get out of life i don't know if it's always for us or it's it's the challenge some of the extra stress we have on us come from us they come from our doing our thoughts they come from us that's a whole another part of why life can feel like a big ball of fucking mess i do it to myself you just put yourself here and you act like you have tentacles and you you're not a fucking octopus you have two fucking hands and two feet we can't we can't like stop you can't the faster you say i can't the faster you accept i can't and i'm not saying i can't as in you can't accomplish so understand what i'm saying I'm saying i can't as in you're not a motherfucking octopus so stop because it's not doing nothing but stressing you out more i hope that makes sense because it makes sense in my head but i don't know if out my mouth is making sense this is the meat and potatoes of this entire video one of the things that was taught to you about adulting, hard as fuck, is that you need your own money. Let me tell you something, come close. Eight-year-olds right now, 
that have their own money. That has nothing to do with adulting. I think the main part that people were trying to say about having financial stability, financial independence, right? Because no one says that because you're an adult, you're gonna have financial instability. You chase behind that. But one of the things that people do attach to adulthood is financial independence but you can teach your child financial independence like you can give them chores you know if they work you pay them their dues you're teaching them financial independence you're teaching them to say as long as you do what you have to do you will get paid that has nothing to do with being a fucking adult that has nothing to do with being an adult i think that we should stop teaching our kids that i think that we should stop telling ourselves that as adults because that's the lowest part of being an adult anybody can go make money you can go pick up bottles right now recycle and get paid anybody can make money the parts for me that i tend to struggle with the most of being an adult is the emotional side i live in a very like that's not fair that's not but life is never fucking fair i tend to get myself caught up in these intense moments because i'm looking at f-a-i-r and nothing is f-a-i-r like that's not life the emotional side of being an adult is much more difficult at times than finding money it makes sense to me don't make sense to you it's much harder to deal with being an adult as kids we have we have this great uh blockage or filter or fence of not being emotion emotionally submerged into things like we get when we become adults. Sometimes, depending on where you are emotionally or how you process emotions, you can become very submerged in them. And I feel like sometimes I forget that it's not my motherfucking problem. <laughs> I, I I just don't know how to say it. it's not my motherfucking problem. And as an adult, that's something I, I struggle with the most, emotional. Like emotional, not emotional accountability because I'm very accountable for my emotions. I understand that I'm the one giving it to the situation regardless of what the situation is emotional growth like that's what is getting me the most right being an adult is trying to keep my fucking emotions intact and that's true tea. that's it i i can't i'm not even going to put it no other way because that's <laughs> that's really what it is this is a really big one too i am going through right now as an adult that when you're a child it seems so as an adult it can make you feel like your life is in an uproar or you're fucking lost and you just you can't figure it out learning to forgive i don't know how many people struggle with this i'm one i raise my hand forgiving for me in the past was a non-motherfucking factor like i was not worried about forgiving fuck you you did me wrong but as i got older i realized that forgiveness has absolutely nothing to do with the outside entity it is all internal and if you don't forgive girl friend son you will corrode and die if you don't forgive the things that motherfuckers have done to you, you will not be able to go outside, put your head up, look at that sky, and honestly understand the beauty in those clouds. There'll be a moment that will come because you didn't forgive that person that will make you feel spiraled or thrown back into the situation that happened 15 years ago. Think, think in your life. Think in your life. There will be something that you like. Why was I so fucking angry about that? Because you didn't forgive it when it happened 15 years ago. You have the one from 15 years and you have this one. So now what do you have? Learning to forgive is one of those grade A things in life. I swear to God, like learn to forgive guys. Figure out how you forgive. Figure out why you're forgiving and figure out what you need from the other person to forgive or how you can navigate and go past it without needing them to forgive. Forget that motherfucker, fuck him. Whether it's a girl or a guy, I don't give a shit who it is, family members, whatever. Just because you forgive does not mean you have to be around. And I think that's something I had to learn too when I was not willing to forgive. Like I'm not forgiving because you ain't never come back around me. Duh, Tessie. But you forgiving them so you don't carry them with you everywhere you go. So for me, I'm not sure how everyone else uh, rolls, but for me, a very important thing for me as an adult is honesty. I don't do well with people when I'm honest. A lot of your friends, a lot of her, a lot of him, a lot of them, don't lie to me. I'm not aware of why you're lying. Some people lie because they're ashamed. Some people lie because they're embarrassed. Some people lie because they just don't feel like you deserve to know their business. I would much rather you just say the honesty about all of those fucking things. Yo, I'm embarrassed and I don't want to tell you. All right, no problem. I'm afraid, I don't want to tell you. I'm ashamed, I don't want to tell you. I would much rather you say that side of it than lying to me because you don't want to say the first side. Not taking it. 
I wasn't taking that as a fucking child. <laughs> so taking it as an adult has no, it, it, I'm not taking it. Another part of being an adult that sometimes we forget or tend to not pay attention to is this. I'm mental health. We become so robotic. Everything is, I gotta do this, I gotta do that, I gotta do this, I gotta do that. So when do you ever get the time to take the break, to take the breath, to be like, okay, I'm gonna calm down today. I'm just going to lay on this couch and listen to jazz music all day. I'm just going to take a bubble bath. Today for my mental health, I'm going to sit in the mirror and recite 10 positive affirmations about myself. Whatever and however it is you deal with your mental health is how you deal with it. But it's not taken serious, right? As a child, people tend to always pretend that they care about how a child is feeling. I believe that emotional and mental is two of the things that are pushed aside as you become an adult. Most people when they look at you can do what? They can analyze this part, right? She fat, well, she got bat arms, she, you know? They can analyze that, but you can't see this. You can't see how I'm feeling here, so you can't analyze it. Because it can't be sometime analyzed by the outside community, again, society. It's not looked at as something important, but friend, take care of yourself. Here's the thing about being an adult also. You are responsible for you. A lot of people are not willing to accept that. A lot of people still feel like there's a way that they can maneuver through that, but you cannot. You cannot ask anyone else to pay attention to any of the things that you need to keep healthy that you don't pay attention to yourself. If you cared about your mental health and your emotional health, you would definitely make sure that you surround yourself around people that are either like-minded or that you know can pull you up and help you out when you have a moment. I'm not saying none of this to say that we never have moments or drops in our mental and emotional health or anything because we do. Always make sure that you check in with yourself and keep yourself as mentally healthy as you can we don't take care of our mental health as much as we should i was two years old coming on here saying oh my god my life is a mess i can't fucking figure it out i don't know what i'm gonna do there would be so many people in my comments right now that are children advocates there will be so many people that are coming in from like educational background willing to give all the advice and and love and guidance and everything that they can and i appreciate that but when you are an adult, that's not there for you as widely accessible as it is when, you, when you're a child. That becomes hard too because now I'm a mother, I'm a wife, you know what I'm saying? I got a job, I have a profession and yada yada yada, but I still need to check in. I still need to make sure that this is okay, that this is not running on the last wire that it has before it snaps. We have the capability of snapping. It depends how deep or how far your threshold goes. So with the mental health and understanding why that's important, let's move on to that side of trying to figure yourself out sometime definitely weighs on your mental. Who you are, what you want, what you don't like, maybe why you don't like it. The point is trying to figure out who you are, what you stand for, where you fit in, what your passion is, what your contribution is to whatever it is you want to contribute to. That really weighs on us too as a fucking adult. On an everyday, everyday, there's no rule book to tell you how to navigate through life to figure shit out. You just gotta fucking figure it out. You literally gotta fall, you gotta scrape, you gotta cry, you gotta bleed, you gotta sweat. You know what I'm saying? You gotta have insomnia, you gotta have no friends, no social life. You have to figure out what works for you and how in being an adult, you navigate through life. And that's why it's hard. We had plans that we thought we had figured out. You couldn't tell me that almost being 35, this is where I'd be at. <laughs> please it was never about marriage and things like that it was more about accomplishments right 35 please i would have been a doctor already which i stopped wanting to be a doctor when i was five but my brain was just like you're gonna be a doctor i was like i'm gonna be a doctor have about two three cars you know be living in maybe not a mansion but maybe like a five bedroom house or whatever and those are achievable goals right but life comes at you at the same time that you're trying to achieve these goals and when you are something of like 5 10 12 you're gunning for that when you get to those 20s you're like fuck how am i supposed to get this shit how am i supposed to produce in my life and you just you, you realize oh shit <laughs> 
what the fuck i thought i would be so much further than i am right now in life i feel like that's another thing that does that puts us in a depressive state as well is i'm 35 i'm supposed to be up there like you know what i'm saying kicking with open way free like that's where i'm supposed to be how are you supposed to be there what work have you put in to get yourself there how disciplined and determined and focused and we have the intentions to do the work but then sometimes we just don't do the work boom depression that's how we get ourselves caught up because we have these hard deadlines that we just know we're gonna you know, we're gonna crush them and i'm not saying don't do it not to say that you can't do it it's just to say that in growing up sometimes those things become more of a burden sometimes than they become a happy moment you know you know that you want to complete your goal but the work and the journey to complete that goal comes with a lot of fucking marks it's not always sunshine it's not always glitter and fucking gold it's not always you walking on cloud nine sometimes you're gonna feel like you're in quicksand and sometimes the quicksand is gonna get you all the way up to like right here literally right here you're gonna be like okay wait hold on and then you say okay i know what to do I'm not saying anyone can't do anything. I would never say that. I'm just speaking about my experiences as growing up as an adult and realizing where it's put me, how it's put me, what I've learned from it, what I am still trying to learn from it, and what I'm realizing just doesn't work for me. I'm just not going to do it anymore because I'm more successful doing it the way that works for me. And two middle fingers to the people that don't think I'm doing it right. Realize where you are. Where you are now is probably totally different than where you were last year, right? Whether it's a physical um way whether it's a mental way whether it's spiritual socially um mentally however there's a difference that you have run across from last year to this year take a second right now and just think about something think about how you felt about something think about how you viewed something think about the knowledge that you had about something that you either let go or you try to educate yourself more on just think about how different things happen like that and how we just really can't kill ourselves adulting is hard as fuck guys it really is but if you build the right village around you if you try to move again with how you know helps you move and what you know works for you there are some things that we can do that will help us calm down you know me and realizing that i deal with abandonment now i can realize all right it ain't that deep no you didn't like the way that this person may have maneuvered or did whatever but they are being removed out of your life for a reason the more that you hold on to them the more that you feel they abandon you the more that you feel like oh my god they don't love you and all these other things that i place in my head it does nothing but weigh me down that person is gone that person's living their life they're doing what they're doing why the fuck am i still sitting here with a bag of bricks some people right now they're Adulting struggle is something that I wouldn't even know about. There are struggles for every last one of us that are walking around. The struggles of 20 are hard. The struggles of 30 are hard. The struggles of 40, 50, and so on and so on. Each year that you get to live in life, if you're trying to go try and understand, you best get ready. You best get ready for there to be some discomfort. But don't stop right although this video is about how i feel life is a fucking mess don't stop i'm not stopping that's why i'm coming here to talk to you guys so that i can vent i love when y'all vent back to me so don't stop go through it if it's hard it'll be hard but it will be worth it i promise you it will be worth it so yeah adults in the time is fuck and although money is important it is to me the least important factor of being an adult need money to live and things like that but you can't let money be everything because chasing money doesn't make you a kind person. It's more important for me to be around someone, regardless of how many zeros or how many cents they have in their bank account. It's more important for me to be around someone that is kind, respectful, has manners, can communicate, is understanding, is funny. Those are the qualities or attributes, characteristics, whatever you want to say that I look for in people. Money is going to come and go. You know, you can make money sitting on your ass. You can make money running a marathon. You can always make money, but you can't always find a kind spirit. Someone that smiles at you and just makes your day light up. Like, you can't find those things. All right, guys. So, the last thing I want to talk about real quick is fucking time. When I was young, you know, you would hear older people say, you know, when you get about... 23 25 your like days and days turn into years and it just keeps going like that they were not lying when they said that because i find myself some some days going like the fuck 
Like seriously guys, I can't believe it's July. That's insanity that it's July already because it felt like it was just February. March, April, May, June, those months, cluster. That's it. They were like blink of an eye like that. Oh, y'all gone. Like appreciate your time, respect your time, understand your time, understand who you are, understand what you want and just live for yourself guys. Pay attention to yourself, love yourself, take care of yourself and just do what fucking makes you happy all right guys so i did not finish this cereal but i'm gonna finish it off camera so with that being said bye guys thanks for watching